Welcome to Zero Trust Cyber Tips and Tricks. In today's video we will be talking about MITRE ATT and CK tactics and techniques. If you're in the cybersecurity field, you may have heard of this framework, but what exactly is it and how can it be used to improve your organization's security? In this video series, we'll give you an overview of what MITRE ATT and CK is and take a closer look at the tactics and techniques used by attackers. Introduction to MITRE Attack MITRE ATT and CK is a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques based on real-world observations. The attack knowledge base is used as a foundation for the development of specific threat models and methodologies in the private sector, in government, and in the cybersecurity product and service community. MITRE ATT&CK, short for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge, is a framework that provides a comprehensive understanding of the methods and tactics used by cyber attackers. The framework is organized into a matrix that includes different tactics on the vertical axis, such as initial access, execution, persistence, etc. Part 4. Understanding Execution. The adversary is trying to run malicious code. Execution consists of techniques that result in adversary-controlled code running on a local or remote system. Techniques that run malicious code are often paired with techniques from all other tactics to achieve broader goals, like exploring a network or stealing data. For example, an adversary might use a remote access tool to run a PowerShell script that does remote system discovery. There are various techniques that can be used for execution. This are, some of them. Command and scripting interpreter. Adversaries may abuse command and script interpreters to execute commands, scripts, or binaries. These interfaces and languages provide ways of interacting with computer systems and are a common feature across many different platforms. Most systems come with some built-in command line interface and scripting capabilities. For example, macOS and Linux distributions include some flavor of Unix shell while Windows installations include the Windows command shell and PowerShell. PowerShell. Adversaries may abuse PowerShell commands and scripts for execution. PowerShell is a powerful interactive command line interface and scripting environment included in the Windows operating system. Adversaries can use PowerShell to perform a number of actions, including discovery of information and execution of code. Examples include the start process CMD let which can be used to run an executable and the invoke command CMD let which runs a command locally or on a remote computer, though administrator permissions are required to use PowerShell to connect to remote systems. AppleScript. Adversaries may abuse AppleScript for execution. AppleScript is a macOS scripting language designed to control applications and parts of the OS via inter-application messages called Apple events. These Apple event messages can be sent independently or easily scripted with AppleScript. These events can locate open windows, send keystrokes, and interact with almost any open application locally or remotely. Windows Command Shell. Adversaries may abuse the Windows command shell for execution. The Windows command shell, CMD, is the primary command prompt on Windows systems. The Windows command prompt can be used to control almost any aspect of a system, with various permission levels required for different subsets of commands. The command prompt can be invoked remotely via remote services such as SSH. Visual Basic. Adversaries may abuse Visual Basic, VB, for execution. VB is a programming language created by Microsoft with interoperability with many Windows technologies such as Component Object Model and the native API through the Windows API. Although tagged as legacy with no planned future evolutions, VB is integrated and supported in the .NET framework and cross-platform .NET Core. Python. Adversaries may abuse Python commands and scripts for execution. Python is a very popular scripting, programming language, with capabilities to perform many functions. Python can be executed interactively from the command line, via the python.x interpreter, or via scripts, py, that can be written and distributed to different systems. Python code can also be compiled into binary executables. JavaScript. Adversaries may abuse various implementations of JavaScript for execution. JavaScript, JS, is a platform-independent scripting language, compiled just in time at runtime, commonly associated with scripts in web pages, though JS can be executed in runtime environments outside the browser. Exploitation for client execution. Adversaries may exploit software vulnerabilities in client applications to execute code. 
Vulnerabilities can exist in software due to unsecure coding practices that can lead to unanticipated behavior. Adversaries can take advantage of certain vulnerabilities through targeted exploitation for the purpose of arbitrary code execution. Oftentimes the most valuable exploits to an offensive toolkit are those that can be used to obtain code execution on a remote system because they can be used to gain access to that system. Users will expect to see files related to the applications they commonly use to do work, so they are a useful target for exploit research and development because of their high utility. Scheduled task, job. Adversaries may abuse task scheduling functionality to facilitate initial or recurring execution of malicious code. Utilities exist within all major operating systems to schedule programs or scripts to be executed at a specified date and time. A task can also be scheduled on a remote system, provided the proper authentication is met, x, RPC and file and printer sharing in Windows environments. Scheduling a task on a remote system typically may require being a member of an admin or otherwise privileged group on the remote system. User execution. An adversary may rely upon specific actions by a user in order to gain execution. Users may be subjected to social engineering to get them to execute malicious code by, for example, opening a malicious document file or link. These user actions will typically be observed as follow-on behavior from forms of phishing. Windows Management Instrumentation Adversaries may abuse Windows Management Instrumentation, WMI, to execute malicious commands and payloads. WMI is an administration feature that provides a uniform environment to access Windows system components. The WMI service enables both local and remote access, though the latter is facilitated by remote services such as Distributed Component Object Model, DCOM, and Windows Remote Management, WinRM. Remote WMI over DCOM operates using port 135, whereas WMI over WinRM operates over port 5985 when using HTTP and 5986 for HTTPS. Preventions and mitigations for execution, includes. 1. Implementing application whitelisting to only allow known and trusted applications to execute on a system. 2. Implementing endpoint protection software, such as antivirus, EDR, and anti-malware, to detect and block malicious code. 3. Regularly patching and updating software and systems to address known vulnerabilities. 4. Implementing security controls, such as firewalls and intrusion detection and prevention systems, to monitor and block unauthorized access attempts. 5. Implementing a vulnerability management program to identify, assess, and mitigate vulnerabilities in systems and networks. 6. Regularly monitoring and analyzing network traffic for suspicious activity. 7. Regularly reviewing and managing user accounts, including disabling or removing accounts of employees who have left the organization. 8. Educating employees about the importance of security and the risks of phishing and social engineering attacks. 9. Implementing security awareness and training program for employees. 10. Having an incident response plan in place and regularly testing it to ensure readiness in case of any attack. MITRE ATT and CK framework provides a comprehensive understanding of the techniques and methods used by attackers to execute malicious code and can help organizations to identify potential vulnerabilities and implement countermeasures to prevent execution. For more information about execution, go to MITRE website at https colon slash slash attack .org. In the next video we will be talking about MITRE attack, persistence. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity tips and tricks.